Interest is calculated the same whether you are borrowing or investing. Let's suppose you're going to invest $5,000 at 6% for 10 years. Your principal here is the main amount that you're borrowing or investing, so that's your principal. Your rate needs to be expressed as a decimal, so it's 0 0.06, and your time is in years is 10. Later on, we'll do it in months, but to begin with, we start with years. Simple interest means that you earn interest only on your $5,000 each year. But compound interest means that you earn interest on your interest. So interest is earned on the interest you've earned each year so far. And it adds up quite, quite quickly. So with simple interest, you would have earned $3,000 for a total of $8,000. But compound interest would have been $3,954 for a, a much bigger total, almost $9,000. You can remember the simple interest formula by interest is pretty. I equals PRT. To calculate simple interest, you need the formula I equals PRT. The principal in this case is the $3,000. The time is five years, and the rate is 0 0.06. Remember to change it to a decimal. Now you just multiply these together. 3,000 times 0 0.06 times 5. You can multiply these in any order because it's all multiplication. I might do the 0 0.06 times 5. 6 times 5 is 30. You have two decimal places, so that's 0 0.3 or 0 0.30 times 3,000. Now 3 times 3,000 gives you 9,000, but you have one decimal place, so it's 900. So we know that interest is 900. You could also do that on a calculator. So you will owe $900 in interest, but you will still have to pay the loan back itself. So it's the 3,000 plus the 900, your principal, plus the interest you owe. To calculate compound interest, you need much of the same information. You need to know the principal, that's our 3,000. You need to know the time period, that would be the five years. And you know, need to know the interest rate, that would be 6%, or remember to write it as a decimal, 0 0.06. Now the formula for compound interest is A equals P times 1 plus R to the T. Now one of the things you'll notice is this does not start with an I. We are actually finding the total amount that you'll have to pay back at the end. Because remember, you're reinvesting each time. So we want to say A equals 3,000 times 1 plus 0 0.06 to the fifth power. Let's simplify that a little. 3,000 times 1.06. 06 to the fifth power. Now you're going to need a calculator for this unless it's just a simple square. So I would say you want to go do this application first and then multiply by 3000. On the next slide I'll show you how to do it with a calculator. So our total is $4,000 $14.68. Be sure and round to the pennies because, of course, the hundreds place is as small as we get it with our money system. So how much will you owe in total? And that would be your 4014 And how much of it is interest? Well, you'll have to subtract here. You'll have to take your 4014 and 68 cents and subtract out the 3000 that you borrowed in the first place. So the interest you'll owe is $1,014.68.